afternoon. I'm Mary Maltman from the National Planning Commission. I feel that I can be a little bit of an anarchist because I was asked over lunch and I didn't have the questions until five minutes ago. <laughs> Having said that, I'm probably going to answer it. The first, um, the, and I'll try to stick to five minutes. Um, the first question of, in terms of what we're doing, I think, let me start there, which is that um, just, just know that even if the NPC is quiet, it, it doesn't mean that we're not doing anything. We've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes and the statement in the SONA, which was on its own, we were speaking to some people at lunch, many people behind the scenes, such as Nick and sort of us and Martin and various others in the department know that we, you know, our role is like a strategy function in a way. You know, we have an NDP, we want to make sure we're on course, we're definitely not on course, we have targets in the NDP which tell us where we're supposed to be as a middle income country according to Tim's and the former Anna, et cetera, and we are most certainly not there. Is there one area we should focus in on? We've been pushing very hard on reading. Literacy, whatever it is, kids don't read, they don't understand. So I'm not a literacy expert, I'm here to learn today, and I've already learned a great deal, but our role has been to work with people who do know about this uh, who helped us hone in the theme, uh, a singular theme, because the idea is if you can succeed on one thing, it's probably a pretty good proxy for a lot of other things going well. But it helps to focus the mind. So, so that is essentially what the NPC has been doing behind the scenes and quietly. A lot of people have been asking about the, pre the meeting with the president recently, and his, his request to us was, so just get out there a little bit more than you, a, a lot more than you currently are. But we have been active. So um, we're working on a review of the uh, National Development Plan. We have about a year to go in our, in our terms. And that means, what did the plan say? Where are we against it? What's the gap? Uh, how do we course correct? And maybe there was stuff we missed. We, you know, we wrote it almost a decade ago. Um, so we have commissioned um, uh, Servas and team to, to help us with that review. Uh, but in the meantime, it would be very helpful to get feedback from this group. Uh, you know, in the meantime, we're producing a very high level review, and then we'll be looking at specific areas around uh, education being one of the themes. Um, a lot of our thinking is about institutional improvement. It's not necessarily about what, it's about how we go about things. So now, hopefully I've only used up a minute. <laughs> okay, so. Please don't underestimate the statement that the president made. It was very hard won. In this country, politicians love to say everything in the kitchen sink and therefore nothing. Correct? They all do it. It was very hard won to get the, so he was criticized for it, but it was very hard won to get him to say, I have seven top priorities. Whatever they were, just to say that, and that one of them on its own said reading for meaning by age 10. That was very hard won. If you look at February, it said 4IR, coding, la la la, tablets, whatever. This one said in two or three lines, reading. Every child must be able to read. So use it, please. I don't know who I'm talking to exactly. I don't know that government, I mean, with all due respect, is going to be you know, the strongest location for a national campaign. You need government as part of something. But we need to, to now elevate that somewhere, not an NGO here and an NGO there. There needs to be an effort, whether we call it literacy or reading or whatever, the point is is that it's now been elevated. It needs to stay there. It shouldn't be replaced with something else next year. It should become so obvious. It's not obvious now. You're in this space, so you probably think it is, but it really is not, even to somebody like me, who's maybe a lay person, pretty knowledgeable, but I'm not, I'm not in the field. I don't see it. You can say you've got a campaign, but I don't, I don't see it. It's not in my face. I know, I know we're fighting state capture. I know that for sure. And I know that we're worried about expropriation. I know that absolutely for sure, but I don't see that we're focused on literacy or reading. So what I'm saying is that, that idea that was raised earlier um, by Jade, you know, to say you need an all-in campaign that makes it so crystal clear that every single person in this country, that somebody says, Miriam, we want you out there on Saturday to help motivate, you know, whatever my strength might be, organizational development around the schools in a district or something. 
you know, that we're all getting recruited into this campaign and every single person knows that will keep it on and then the president has the language, you know, that keeps it going. That was actually what the idea was. And I think, I think this kind of effort gets us there.